all that you know is at an end. What's up dudes? How we doing? Uh, back again with a Silver Surfer video here. Uh, I'm going to run through this epic side quest with a three star Silver Surfer team. Um, Silver Surfer is going to do most of these fights, uh, but I do take some of the other fights with uh, two or three other champs on the team, but they're all three stars, so it's a pretty fun time. Um, so first off, uh, I'm a big Silver Surfer fan. I know a lot of people in this game don't like him or just think he's kind of meh or average, but um, I think he's really, really good. He's not necessarily a war champ. He does take a little bit of ramp up time, but he's so smooth and kind of slippery if you, if you, uh, you get good with him. You get good with his heavy phase timing. He's, I think he's really, really good. And when Odin came out, he has, he's the only champ that can essentially pre-fight another champ um, with buffs. And Surfer's kit is that every unique buff that he has on him, he gets increased uh, energy damage, secondary damage, essentially. So you, Straight off the bat, you're starting with three buffs from Odin, and then, you know, you get, what, three, four, five unique buffs, potentially, with Silver Surfer himself, because the Power Cosmic is actually a buff, also. And then the Unblockable, also a buff. Dexterity, if you time it, also a buff. But uh, we're about to get into it. Um, the synergies, uh, I think his best synergy is the Secret Defender synergy with either Doctor Strange or um, Hulk. I used Hulk because you have you have to satisfy the romance synergy. So I pick Hulk, and then I use the uh, Black Widow Black Widow Deadly Origin to satisfy the the uh, romance synergy. I think it's it's complicated. It wasn't on the actual um, the True Coast uh, screenshot of all the. Uh, uh, Oh, look at that, that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, you can phase through stuff like that. This is, so I didn't actually get this one on, uh, uh, for my run, but I wanted to include that in the clip because I did that a few times, but I could never get that, um, I could never get that complete with the run. So I just threw that clip in there just to show you guys that it was possible. Um, so it's pretty rad. See what I did there? Um, but yeah, so like anyway, like yeah, you gotta satisfy the romance synergy. It's not listed on the True Coast, uh, their, their little graphic, um, but it does work. So I threw her in there. I don't even think I use her at all. Um, I do use Odin, uh, but yeah, we're about to get into it here. So you can always uh, lead off heavy. First thing you do, get that timing down and open the match with a heavy and you'll phase it every time. They'll either get hit, go decks back, and then try to maybe dex forward, you'll still be phasing and you can time their uh, their dex their dex back and dash forward um, with a parry. So you, you'll still be phasing parry when they dash in and then you just do whatever. So it's always safe, always safe. Um, but yeah, you can see here, you know, I phase his, uh, his specials. I have to knock him down like five times with this heavy because you have to kill them with the heavy in this uh, side quest. But he's got that Regan buff that just keeps, keeps him alive. Um, but yeah, so Surfer's just awesome, man. He's I, I, he's my first rank four. I took him up um, I, and you know, ooh, 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 me. I raised my hand, you know, I was like volunteered. Everyone else is, oh, I don't wanna do Surfer. I wanna do Herc or Doom, which most did. Um, which they're both amazing champs, um, no question. Um, Surfer, I think, is you know he's the highest prestige, and people took him up begrudgingly. Um, but no, I was totally willing to do it, wanted to do it. Um, I think he's awesome. I really like playing him. He's super smooth and fluid. Um, like he just, I mean, he plays like. To me, he plays like Surfer would, you know. I guess uh, 
play or, or the moves that he would potentially have in uh, the Marvel Universe. I mean, I think they did a really good job with him. You just got to get that phase heavy down. Um, but the secret defender synergy, what it does is it actually um, it decreases the cooldown time for uh, his power cosmic buff. So you get that back faster um, and it allows you to phase heavy quicker, you know, more frequently. So it's, yeah, it's it's pretty much, an, it's no question his best synergy, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, it can activate with Hulk or Doctor Strange, um, but I think Hulk generally works better because you ha you get a poison immune on the team with Hulk. Um, and it's not like Strange is good. I like Strange, I have him at rank three as a six star, but uh, he's, you know, even with a full synergy setup with multiple chance, he's, mediocre at the absolute best uh, but I still got love for Strange you know I've been playing this game for a long time and Strange used to be so awesome along with Scarlet Witch and Thor um, and Wolverine but uh but yeah so like this fight I took with Magneto uh, just because he's annoying especially as a three star versus six star you know he purifies parry and eh, I just didn't want to mess with it Plus the last, uh, the Hulkbuster boss in this is, um, he's got Conflictor, so Magneto bypasses that with this pre-fight. So, you know, Magneto, White Magneto was, uh, he was definitely a great addition. Plus he gives that 10% attack bonus to heroes. Um, so yeah, uh, I brought him for Daredevil and I, I mean, I just run through this guy. You can see all the wake ups. Get those heavies in that keep the prowess uh, stacked. Throw a level two here, get some bleed. With fake, get this guy. It's just keep those specials coming. Wake up, wake up. Ugh. I actually have Daredevil on uh, Hell's Kitchen at um, rank two now at a six star. I don't, I don't dislike him. I'll say that. He, uh, I think he's got potential for some situations. I mean, at the first off, he ignores Miss straight away, doing nothing. That alone gives him value. Um, you don't have to set up for it and nothing. You just literally ignore Miss right out of the gate. So, um, and he's got some good synergy partners. So, She Hulk, you know, being one of them. So, and that's a pretty good synergy for She Hulk. So yeah, I don't I don't hate him. This fight, you can see me uh, going back and forth. I'm like, man, who am I gonna use here? Um, I was contemplating Odin, uh, but I was like, nope, I'm gonna surf. We're gonna do this. So this is a this is a good fight here. I like this. This worked out really well. Um, as long as you don't die versus Apoc and give him genetic code, um, you know, you can use anyone. But Surfer does really well because you don't have to evade his specials. You just phase through them. It's it's rad. Um, and I think that I think that so many people just overlook that. You know that phase heavy. You can do it at the end of a combo. Like you can do a full combo ending with medium into phase heavy every time, and it's just awesome. Not a fan of Ghost. I don't like Kitty. But Silver Surfer, I don't even like champs generally that have that two hit medium ender, like stealth. Oh, it's so awkward. I, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, Black Widow, Deadly Origin, I like her. I'm really coming around on her. But that two hit medium, uh, Daredevil has it. Uh, Daredevil Hell's Kitchen. Um, it's, it's, it just really throws you off. And Surfer has a double, you know, right there, that two hit medium as well. But uh, his feels different. It's quicker. And it doesn't bother me like the other champs. Look at that phase right through it. Man, he's so smooth. I don't know how people can't like him. He's just awesome. Look at that phase right through it. And you can see, I mean, I got that power cosmic back up because of that synergy. Boom. Man. Norin Rad indeed. So he just breezes right through this quest. I mean, just smokes through it. Yep, Ronin here. I was deliberating, I was like, eh, maybe I go with Odin, but I wanted to use Odin for the next fight. Uh, and you know, you get one fight and then he goes into Odin's sleep, so. 
That's why I went with Surfer here. Could have done Hulk or Black Widow, but no, this is a, this is a Surfer showcase. So let's showcase Surfer. Am I right? Boom, oh, face heavy to open. Wake up intercept. Just stay offensive, stay right in their face. Power Cosmic's back. Boom, nothing. Nope. Bum, 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 bum. And then poke him with the board right there. Poke him. Yeah, you can jab with that unstoppable or uh, the unblockable. Whenever whenever you finish in the corner, you just you poke them. If they want to come up to you with a special, um, you have time to get back. So I always poke with that board whenever I have that unblockable buff. Spear right into him right here. Torpedo! Oh, oh, oh. Poke him with the unblockable. Use it, you know? Utilize it. Look at all this buff. Sweet! I mean, how can you not like this guy, man? This guy runs through champs. You know, he's got, um, he's got that, uh, ability to, ability to essentially take cold snap, uh, incinerate, and, uh, what's the other one? Shock. And they, they count as unique debuffs for his, uh, or I'm sorry, unique buffs for his abilities. So it essentially acts as a buff and it allows him to uh, dish out more damage. Plus it heals him if he's got willpower, which is awesome. Nimrod over here. I think I get smacked once or twice with Odin, man. I like Odin a lot. They, uh, he was kind of uh, weak when they first dropped him, but they, you know, they tweaked him a bit. So he wasn't just a pre-fight mule, and uh, he's, man, he's, he's good. At level two, bomb, it just blasts. And uh, I like his heavy a lot, it's one hit, but it's got a lot of range, and uh, it's really quick. Ooh, and it looks awesome, I mean. So he's not just uh, a pre-fight mule. This guy can fight, he's tanky, he's got great uh, block, Proficiency. He's got that true strike, which is it's uncommon for uh, cosmic champs to have this true strike. And his is long. It's easily accessible. You keep it up by staying close to him. So uh, plus three buffs on, and and one being that shock resist, which is huge, especially in war. Um, so yeah, I like it a lot. Big big fan. I, I do wish that he did a little more for uh, his son, uh, OG Thor. I mean, Ragthor too, but, uh, Ragthor. Ugh. But yeah, he doesn't do much for either one of them. You know, that buff, or that, uh, synergy with Angela is better, much better than the Thor one, because, you know, extended buff duration for Thor as the, as the, uh, quest goes on, uh, that's fine. But potency, increased potency for Angela and Loki, is it? Um, that's really good. Man, if Thor had that, he already hits like a absolute bulldozer though so yeah i heal up here just to make sure you know i want to go in this healthy because there is heal block um not that he takes damage from that shock but uh but he does he works out great for this fight and hulkbuster in general because that shock does nothing it either heals him or if there's heal block it's just it it counts as a unique buff so it, he uh dishes out more damage phase heavy to open phase heavy pay attention break does a little bit, bit of healing i think uh uh hulkbuster there he goes yeah he gives a heal block whenever he does a special but yeah i basically just stay in his face and i start yo-yoing back and forth um dexing out of that level one when he gets up spear him with the unblockable it's all about that spear boom i mean he's so slippery guys look at that he just phases through things he's smooth man i, I love him one of my favorite champs, and he will definitely, definitely go to rank five. I mean, I would have ranked him even if he didn't have high prestige, and most, most players are gonna say, nope, I would not rank him. He's a turd, he wasn't high prestige, they wouldn't rank him, but me, 100% I would, love him. I need to get that 500 unit uh, avatar, I don't, I don't know if they dropped one for him or if I missed it, but, 
I've got She-Hulk and Nimrod, but I need him. Oh, can't do anything. Maybe it was like dumb. Yeah, it's really just getting really, it's getting comfortable with that phase heavy, you know, knowing that you have it available, you know, gauging the timing on that and, uh, you know, just really utilizing it to phase through basically everything. Uh, just be careful against like the daredevil. Um, I always forget that he ignores miss, so I try to phase heavy to open and I just get smacked every time. But uh, yeah, and that's why that secret defender synergy is so good, man, because um, you get that power cosmic back. So you, uh, you have phase heavy available more or less whenever you need it. It's really good. But yeah, we're finishing up here. I really hope you guys uh, like this video and uh, I hope it sheds some light on Surfer because I'm gonna do way more videos on Surfer, but hey, this is the first one. Hope you guys liked it. Um, until the next video. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.